There it is. Live from the saloon bar, what have you uh, grabbed from the trolley as it went past I've there? It. Well, I've grabbed a nice, refreshing Camden Town unfussy lager, which is a bit like a German-style traditional lager, oh. unfiltered, so nice and hazy, but very delicious. 4.9%. 4.9%. 4.9%. All right, very nice. Thank you very much indeed. Um, today's confession comes from Nigel. Nigel, thank you very much indeed. You get the smart speaker, Simon and team. After hearing on many occasions your amusement at board rubber throwing antics of teachers oh, back yeah. in the 1970s <laughs> I thought you might be interested in hearing how we, which is basically me and my mate Dave, rebelled against this as chalkboards are no longer in use, I do not believe that this confession can influence today's pupils in any way, shape or form so if imitative behaviour moves a film from a U certificate to a PG, which it does oh, of course, I yeah. would say that this is still a U certificate. Oh, right. Okay. But that'll obviously be for Susie to, de- to <laughs> decide, mm-hmm. finally. I attended St. Custard School of course, from 1967 yeah. yes. to 1972. And during this time, had numerous board rubbers thrown in our general direction. That's me and Dave. And on occasions, we went home with big lumps on our heads. I know, different times. Yeah. Wow. And times when this kind of thing was considered okay. <laughs> Other things thrown included uh, exercise books, textbooks, gym kit, lost property of all kinds, including park drive cigarettes and a plastic giraffe from a zoo. <laughs> Remember, giraffe. don't smoke, kids. Yeah, no. yeah. Anyway, on the day in question, the fun started when we decided to goad the teachers. Always unwise, but we nope. started to talk loads. We ate cream buns, which we got from cream the tuck shop. Buns. When they finally launched the said board rubbers at our direction, we would dodge them because we were ready and hence amuse the entire class and frustrate the teachers who would try even harder and harder to perfect their aim. But board rubber after board rubber would hit the wall, a desk or the wrong pupil. Yaru, as schoolboys <laughs> used to say, see Billy Bunter of yeah. the Remove for yeah. details. This continued for a few weeks, but eventually we got bored and went back to learning. Moldy cheers. Anyway, this is where you might like to discourage anyone tempted to copy our disreputable behaviour. During a science lesson with Sigismund, the mad science teacher, we investigated said board rubber and came up with a plan to place a swan vesta match between the different layers of felt. In fact, not just one match, but quite a few. After returning the rubber to the chalkboard, we waited. Halfway through the class, the formulas had been suitably copied to textbooks. HCl plus NaOH equals NaCl plus H2O, as any fool knows. Halfway through the class, then it was time for the board to be cleaned. One wipe, nothing. Two wipes, nothing. Finally, on the third wipe, the matches ignited and flames burst from the board rubber. The whole class fell about the floor in hysterics as the teacher jumped up and down with a flaming board rubber in his hand. He was then suitably thrown across the room into an empty space. We retaliated against every teacher that had previously thrown board rubbers at us, as we knew it was against our human rights. (laughs) We were ahead of our times. We never got caught, but I believe they knew who it was who was putting the swan vestas into the felt of the board rubber. I should like to apologise to my fellow pupils for the horrible smell of burning felt. I should also like to apologise to the beautiful young French teacher, Mademoiselle Bardot, who innocently... (laughs) Come on! Who innocently stood... Change the names! Yeah, of course you did. Mademoiselle Bardot. Who innocently stood in for an absent board rubber thrower, (laughs) but she screamed and burst into tears as the rubber in her hand burst into flames. We never saw her again. Love, Nigel. And that's it. I mean, it finishes a little bit abruptly, but, you know, apart from that, I was I was intrigued with another stories of education in the 70s. Yeah. When we don't need no education was the cry. Anyway, uh, potentially dangerous activities or just good school larks from St. Custard's? Let's check in with the voice of responsibility, Sister Susie. Well, Nigel, do you know what? It's never a good idea to go to teacher, is it? It's never, never. a good idea to go to anyone. Although I do, you know, the idea of the... Of the custard buns, the cream buns, were very delicious, and, mm. and now I quite yeah, fancy them. How annoyed would the teacher be if you're talking a lot and eating a cream bun? <laughs> 
during exactly. lessons. Which school is selling cream buns? St. Custard's. I know. Yeah. It's excellent. Just St. say custard's custard to the cream buns. Right. So, yeah, custard slice and a cream bun sounds lovely. However, I have to say that a matches you should never play with matches it's dangerous and particularly putting it in a board r- rubber i'm glad something didn't go worse and i'm not going to forgive you because it could have well apart from the fact that uh, mademoiselle bardot clearly gave up mm. her teaching at st custard's yes and a whole educational career might have been Wasted. blown up by the explosive board rubber. A brother from another gutter. I, obviously, as, as Susie says, don't play with matches. That said, um, I think this is fine. Um, and I'll tell you what. what? Because uh, yeah, surely what we should take from this story is that Dave and Nigel have brought chemistry to life, in a way. Nobody who's in that classroom is ever going to forget the uh, impact of matches on, on, a, on a board, on a blackboard. Yeah. And, uh, and it, isn't it phosphorus in matches? Probably. One of those things. And that's a chemical element. So, you know, bring it in all to life um, and Mrs Bardo then went on to the uh, movie career so everything okay. has worked out <laughs> in the end for everyone no, so definitely forgiven okay